Hi everyone, this is Mary Ann here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you? Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. And of course, depending on where you are in the world, uh, the full moon is in Libra. Here it's the 6th of April. If you're, I think if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're the evening of the 5th going into the 6th. Um, and of course, with uh, the full moon in Libra, full moons always talk about endings and new moons are beginnings. The full moon allows us to draw together the threads um, of things that we have to close down uh, and uh, get ready for this new beginning. And uh, for those of my viewers in the US uh, watching the arraignment of uh, the former president um, and, and all the fallout from that, the uh, vitriol, the vile, vindictive, um, incendiary type of speech that he gave post arraignment, um, the kind of hypocrisy, <laughs> you name it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I know the satire, sat, you know, satire is very appropriate for this moment. That uh, somebody that is um, not questioning um, hush payments, hush money payments. I think he's yeah, he's admitted it uh, to to a adult actress. Um, to a former Playboy uh, model, uh, and now to uh, the doorman. And I want to pay tribute to Ronan uh, Farrow, who broke this story in 2018. And it was really, really hushed up, and it didn't go any further. But the doorman who threatened to spill the beans on Trump's love child, all these indiscretion, uh, indiscretions, um, this... Uh, hiding of stories just before the election. He only won by a handful. I think it was around 70,000 votes in the Electoral College scheme of things and lost the popular vote. And, of course, these stories probably would have made a difference and maybe that we can ask that. So breaking, allegedly breaking the law to win an election over the years, many of you have asked, is he, is he a legitimate president? Mm. Well, uh, there's some now further doubt about that. Uh, will it? Will his presidency ever be overturned? Not on the hush money payments. Um, I think I don't think they could do that. That would just, uh, yeah. I, I just don't think. I mean, what is past is past. Imagine all those decisions being overturned and the amount of. Civil uh, suits that would in, in, arise as a result of decisions that he made that weren't valid. So, no. But we can we can we say is he a legitimate? Was he a legitimate president? No. When you you look at the the co allegedly committing of a crime to win an election, and uh, the collusion with Russia, and then obst all the obstruction, all the rule breaking all the investigations, all the alleged uh, crimes that he committed while he was in office, the breaking of the emoluments clauses. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. This is a person who broke the law before his president, presidency, allegedly during his presidency and allegedly after his presidency. So vain surprise <laughs> from the Republicans is just, yeah, well, you know, it is to be expected, isn't it? But I do want to just shift your view for a minute. Um, this hypocrisy, uh, we get indignant about it. However, it just shows how desperate, how desperate they really are, how fragmented a party they are, how disunified, how um, fa they're failing. They're a failing party. You only have to look around to the recent decisions in the U.S. around the um, the win for uh, a more progressive judge on the Wisconsin uh, Supreme Court, which who will have a say over gerrymandering, abortion rights, gun gun laws. The Democrats now have that majority that was given to them by the people. Uh, in Australia, we have our own issues with our Conservative Party failing to hear the message, to get the wake-up call. We no longer want to do politics in a nasty, vile, negative, obstructionist way, grifting way. We want leaders who actually do lead to progress our societies forward and at the very least keep us stable resilient and also to encourage 
our well-being, our health, our well-being, and our economic well-being. So anyway, that's why things like Wisconsin occur. Now, back to the uh, former Trump. I do have a full program today. I do want to look at um, the illegitimate child question. I've got some uh, intuitive hits around that. Um, I also want to look at that vile, nasty uh, person that we saw in the courtroom in Manhattan DA. You know who I'm talking about. Um, does he really think he can win, like in his heart of hearts? Does he think he can win a president presidential election? Um, I need to look at will Biden run again because we now have the anti-vaxxer Robert Robert Kennedy Jr. announcing his run as a Democratic candidate. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll look at that. And I do want to look for all, I don't know how many young viewers listen to me, but for our younger viewers uh, who have a stake in TikTok, whether you think it's a security risk or not, it is their platform, Um Will it be banned in the US? Because, of course, other Western countries will follow suit. Now, back to the full moon in Libra. Of course, Libra is the sign that we most associate with the tarot card of justice. It is uh, rules the seventh house of the zodiac, which is which is partnerships, relationships. It's the we to Aries I. Uh, and it is also around uh, the seventh house, uh, the zodiac can also be around open enemies. And hence we have that justice aspect as well. Uh, do the right thing. Libra is sort of, for me, a very karmic sign. Do the right thing and you'll be okay. <laughs> uh, stray from that path and you can wait for karma to catch up to your backside, which is what is happening to the former president right now. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, Moonology deck and then I'll draw from the Aquarian deck to answer some of these questions. Um, so uh, let's just take a look. Um, let's just take a look. These are all good signals. Uh, the Wisconsin win, the indictment of uh, the former president, um, the investigations. I did say to you, didn't I, that Pence would eventually speak uh, before the special counsel's grand jury, he would have to testify. He is. He lost his appeal. He said he won't contest it. He contest it. He will testify. Um, so you know, there, there, those investigations, as I said, the classified documents obstruction of justice. I think it's the next cab off the rank. That, that indictment due to come down within the next couple of oh, one month, maybe. I Again, I hesitate to put timing on it. Uh, maybe we'll draw again on that uh, and the Georgia investigation as well. All right, first to Libra, full moon. What are we ending here for ourselves? You can dig deep and answer that question to your, for yourself. What do I need to end right now? But uh, also it's very, very in alignment with what is happening in the US at the moment endings and beginnings and looking you can't get to the new beginning as i told my uh, patrons yesterday you can't get to the beginning until you look back it's all part of the ending you look back and you see the truth you acknowledge the truth you are accountable to that truth and when all of that is is uh pulled together completed then you start your new beginning wiser for the experience all right liberal full moon liberal full moon very apt at a time of indictment of the former president to have a liberal full moon so we have here be bold and make the first moon cut a uh, first move be bold and make the first move that that's an interesting card we often will hold off um through this kind of lack of um lack of surety uh we hold off on on moving forward but sometimes boldness is called for i think i become bold every time i come on here and read for you it's time to release negativity uh new moon, new moon in scorpio and i think from libra yes i know from libra the libra full moon we have the scorpio we move into scorpio uh so it's time to release that negativity um again uh it's 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 about divine timing if we're talking about the former president 
uh, the south node has been in Scorpio um, and the north node in Taurus, the giving us the ability to stay the course while we release that negativity and expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Now, we do have a, an eclipse coming up later on in April. Expect powerful change. You know, if we were talking politics, it could be, I think I read uh, April, May, June, and I thought something big would be happening in April. Are we going to get more of those charges on Donald Trump? Now, if we apply that to our own lives, April is going to be a big month for us all. Expect powerful change. Um, and we get new moon in Taurus. Okay, so prosperity lies ahead. Mm, maybe that's the new be beginning that we uh, spend less time on this neg negativity and more time on what's positive. And uh, the third quarter of moon adjustments are required. Well, that's a given, isn't it? And adjustments are ongoing. We often get rid of uh, troubling troubling situations and we expect it all to be smooth paved road laid out for us without any issues but uh, again in that new beginning we take wisdom with us which is what helps us if you think of the full journey in the in the tarot uh, there's nothing certain about that fool's journey uh, because he's starting out anew but he carries the wisdom of the world the last card in the tarot in the major arcana uh, in the tarot deck, he carries that wisdom with him. All right, so uh, let's go to the illegitimate child. Uh, now, Ronan Farrow apparently uh, tracked down the doorman, tracked down the maid. Apparently, it was a maid in the 1980s who uh, the former president... Um, Apparently, she became president, president. She became pregnant, and that's interesting because when I was reading the other day before the indictments were handed down, I actually did almost make a Freudian slip and say the word pregnant uh, when I was talking about does Bragg have more? And uh, I wondered what all of that was about. But I think now I stopped myself because I thought I can't go back to that Trump apparently made pregnancy why would I go back to that but of course now I see why I did the doorman paying off the doorman in his catch and skill catch and kill alleged scheme alleged catch and kill scheme I do want to remind people that uh, as much and all as we do what we do for entertainment purposes only in these readings uh, I still hold uh, with using these words while someone is facing trial and I think you should do too. Oh well, you do what you like. All right. Um let's look the illegitimate child. Illegitimate child. All right, clairvoyantly clairvoyantly what can we get on this illegitimate child? So there's a narrow space um almost like someone's either hiding under the bed or hidden. So so the, I'm getting that image of a small child being hidden. Does this illegitimate child exist? Yes. Yes, they do. And I do feel that he's been paying off this woman for, well, obviously for a long time, and I think still doing it. Uh, it's... I, I think I did a reading yesterday that showed that the tr at least the Trump children or Trump adult children, adult offspring, uh, the boys may still be making these payments um, to buy it, to keep the silence there. Uh, like it's like a, it's like a how alimony would would uh, would work that a certain amount is paid per month i think the media are going to go after this uh and that's that, that's really what i want to know will the media so yes the the child the adult now the offspring exists it apparently is a daughter uh will will she come out what would she be now she'd be she'd be in her 30s possibly even late 30s will this adult daughter will the media track her down will she become known will Trump's adult illegitimate daughter become known so we have here the Empress and remember the Empress kept coming out as well um, 
in that last reading. Uh, but we do have uh, we do have the mother. The mother may become known as well. Um, and we have the <laughs> King of Pentacles. Sorry, but this is my Aquarian deck by David Palladini, the late David Palladini. It's my original tarot deck from when I was 23. So, I mean, you know, that's a while ago. So we have the Empress, motherhood, can be motherhood, uh, pregnancy, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, at the foundation of the reading, betrayal, loss, loss and betrayal and a broken heart. Loss and betrayal and a broken heart. This is heavy Russia vibes too. So this is around me at the moment. This is a, this is around what the work of Jack Smith. Um, but I didn't ask that question. So we have the Seven of Swords, the lie here. That's in the past. It's like with with Trump, everything merges in together, and it's 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 all part of the one thing, isn't it? Lies and betrayal which is what he would have done to the maid. Uh, the Ace of Cups in the sky, potentially, yes, she will come forward. Um, it's emotional. So we get the Temperance card in the immediate future. Now, that's a Sagittarian type of card. can also be a timeline of December. Now, I'm aware that in December it goes to trial. Now, we have Strength here in the here and now strength and the chariot oh my god so this is a very very strong case chariot is also movement um somebody could come forward the daughter the mother my question was around the daughter ready is ready to come forward uh and the page of pentacles in the hopes and fears there would have been a uh, clause within that those contracts that if they ever speak out they have to pay money which is what happened with the doorman. He, if he, if we spoke out uh, after the payoff, he had to repay Trump one million dollars. I'm not sure that would stand up now uh, in in court. That non-disclosure type of agreement, and it could be the media take on this case uh, and allow the the woman to come out. Now we have the high priestess card. That secrets being revealed. And we get the Two of Swords. No, they haven't made a decision yet whether or not to speak publicly. Uh, and we get isolation. So at this time, Three of Cups. So there's support around her. The Knight of Rods movement and the division. Um, she's an independent person now. Um, and, and so is the mother. Uh, and they have not made a decision to come forward. Though... Though uh, it could be in time that we will hear more in in time toward the end of the year, I'm just going to draw a clarifier on that high priestess because it looks like she's deciding right now whether or not to come forward. So it comes after the hermit introspection, and we get no. She can she can't make the she doesn't want to be a part of the circus. Queen of Pentacles, um, and there's also money, but we also get here a monetary consideration, her security, uh, and we also have the two of rods, something coming to fruition in time. Yeah, really, really hard decision making here, and we've got the Knight of Cups. I think, um, uh, I think the media will track her down and make her an offer, uh, and it could be that she comes forward a bit later on, but right now, no, she doesn't doesn't want to be a part of this. Show me the High Priestess. The High Priestess secrets. Why is she here? The High Priestess can be, it's in, it's in the back, in the subconscious, and it's ready to come forward, and it comes forward in time. Um, let's see the High Priestess. Show me the High Priestess. Yeah, Knight of Cups. She's made an offer. Uh, and yeah, wish fulfillment. Um, Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's the double validation. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Potentially, she may get an offer uh, which would take care of legal, perhaps other costs, uh, and she may very well come forward. But right now, no. I want to see if she wants to. She wants to. Does she want to come forward? Okay. Two cards came out. So we get Six of Swords. Um, she may not even live in America. Um she may be in Latin America. Uh, so we have the 
the four of cups, one cup is being um, pr presented to her travel, travel. Uh, and again, having to make hard choices. The king of rods, bold and courageous. Again, the fire sign. So it could be later on she decides to come forward. Um, but right now, I don't think she would want to. Okay, does she exist? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. She wouldn't be much younger than Ivanka. I, I don't know Ivanka's age. Some of you may, but if she if, if we put her, depending on what year in 1980, it would be around Ivanka's age, perhaps a bit younger. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the former president's mindset. Oh, God, I couldn't stand looking at that photo in court. It was just so, 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 so full of venom. Venom and vindictiveness. Um, does he really think, does Trump really think he can win in 2024? Yes, I know you're going to say he's just grifting. Well, that too. But is, does he really think, does he really think he can win? I'm seeing somebody spinning a top, but they're spinning a top in water, which means they are playing around with people's emotions. It's a very desperate thing to do. All right, so can can Trump, does Trump think, does Trump think he can win? Now I'm seeing the Congress. Two of rods, something coming to fruition in time. And the Page of Swords, not strong signifier cards. It's just the Page of Swords uh, talks about, um, well, it can talk about the traitor, can talk about the spy in the camp, but it's it's generally about a light bulb moment, um, something coming to fruition in time. No, what's on his mind now, the foundation of the reading is the Ten of Swords, is his downfall. That's what he's thinking about. In the past, he had hope. He had hope. Now, he tried to bully, threaten, brag into, and the jury into not indicting him. I think he knows within his heart this is it. The Tower card. This is a very desperate man, but he doesn't have the power of the presidency. Queen of Pentacles. He, uh, this is domestic security. Um, Queen of Pentacles. It's also financial stability as well. The Empress card, again, again she keeps coming up. Abundance, something coming to fruition in a season of time. It can also be my Russia card, as you know, and more indictments. No, what he fears, ooh, in his past, he has dealings with Russia that haven't come to the to out into public, and that's what he fears um, he also fears uh, this woman too, this this illegitimate child. Hopes and fears, of course. Of course he hopes he will win. Uh, but no. <laughs> no four of swords. No, he does not think he can win. What's overriding in his mind now is defending himself. Uh, this can also be ill health. Uh, in a reading that I did yesterday, Uh I got the, the death card um, and I I have a, an inkling uh, that that COVID bout that he had, um, yeah, I, I don't know. There's just something in his health circulatory or something that he, uh, he has going on that maybe nobody knows. But we also have the poor choices. Um, he's making poor choices because he should have retreated. Um, and he didn't. And then we have working uh, working with others, dark money here, uh, and the full card. We've got new starts. The Knight of Coins appealing to his base. But we do have the ending, the ending card. The world card features prominently with him. What's the first major arcana? Yeah, the lie. So he's, um, he, he's, he's just got terrible, terrible, terrible cards. And we've got the big lie, resurrecting the big lie and the queen of uh, rods, queen of wands. Um, it's a plan here to keep lying. Um, 
and the three of rods of course is his overseas connections um, and his contracts and commitments um, this is also love ooh 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 people are going to betray him at the end of the day people are going to betray him people close to him either have or will betray him no he doesn't think he can win doesn't think he can win at all <sighs> strength and the chariot card they came up in the last reading though these indictments are just gonna fall his hope is in the past he has the ten of swords as his major arcana uh, as his foundation of the reading and we have temperance moderation and the December card. No, his back back is against the wall. He's hoping for a lifeline. He doesn't think he can win. No, this is about staying out of jail. All right, and a grifting money. There's a monetary consideration here, but he will be betrayed by Republicans. As those indictments fall, they will pull away from him, and he knows that. He knows it. <sighs> okay. Let's have a look. Just, I've, I've got so many mixed messages. I think in December, Biden would have run again. I'm not so sure. Uh, I think I think his main reason for running again was if Trump, if Trump secured the nomination. Trump will not be there by the time the January 24th, um, the election in 2024 comes. Either he uh, withdraws, gets sick, isn't the primary, doesn't win the primary, something occurs, but he doesn't get to the finish line in the election in 2024. Okay, so will Biden run again if, uh, if all these things, all things being equal? Will Biden run again? Will Biden run again? I'm seeing someone off the victory horse. Walking the horse, walking beside the horse. No, Queen of Swords. I think, um, I don't know, I just think there's, um, he supports a, could even be a woman candidate. Uh, and the Knight of Swords, the truth, a lot of truth coming forward. The King of Pentacles, a lot of truth coming forward about the, about the former president. Justice is in the past. Oh gosh, I didn't, don't even think he wanted to run this time. Uh, he did it because of Trump. So we have the Hierophant in the sky. That's a divine source. It's also the government. So maybe he hasn't made up his mind yet. But we have abuse abuse and sabotage. And I think the attacks on his family. It's like wearing him down. Particularly Hunter Biden. We have wish fulfillment. Interesting. And we have his family here. He just wants happiness for his family. Um, regardless of what you think of Joe Biden, uh, he's a devoted family man. I, I personally think he's a good man. Uh, the Empress card, hopes and fears, Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. <sighs> Six of Pentacles. Loans, debts, giving and receiving help, the scales of justice. But we also have uh, what he's lost. So giving help. As I said, I don't think he would have run in 2020 had it not been for Trump and the Page of Swords. So he's very, 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 very sad about what, ha what has happened to his son. The Tower card. It's his, ch it's his, his adult son that he's worried about and what they've done to him. It's just weighing heavily on him. Um... Here we go. The Emperor, the President is at the base of the pack. The Knight of Car uh, Cups is an offer and uh, New Starts the Fool. I don't think he's made his mind up. That's what I'm going to say. Do, do I think he will run? I'm going to say this. Unless he has to, he probably won't. If he thinks it can help, he will. This is not a man at the end of his time having been long-serving Senator... Obviously, probably a member of Congress before that, member of the House, Senator for 40-odd years, Vice President, President. What else has he got to spur him on? He's not somebody that's motivated by continual power. He will run if he thinks it will help. So all those Biden critics out there, 
get off his case. This man is there to help. All right. At the moment, that's what he's thinking. I will run. That's probably why he hasn't announced it. I think he would like to support Kamala Harris in her bid. I think that's what he would like, but he's holding back uh, to see if he's needed. All right, let's go to one more question. <laughs> 30 minutes in. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tock. So here's the thing. TikTok's been fined uh, a lot of money, millions of dollars in the UK uh, for not, not ensuring safety mechanisms. Children as young as 13 signed up, signed over their data, didn't have parental uh, approval. They're in big trouble in the UK. In Australia, uh, TikTok has been banned from, uh, from politicians and public servants', servants devices. Uh, through security concerns, after a uh, review by our our equivalent to your um, CIA, FBI, the uh, our organisation, government organisation is ASIO. I think a ASIO re recommended no, delete it around all in Parliament House everywhere and cameras, Chinese uh, made or software. Uh, in in surveillance cameras, that's been they're being replaced as well. This all all follows the spy balloon flying over the U.S. China. You don't like these outcomes, and don't spy. TikTok, TikTok, will it be banned in the U.S.? Because if it is, it'll be banned elsewhere. Contracts, commitments, contracts and commitments. Will TikTok be banned in the U.S.? Will TikTok be banned in the U.S.? TikTok yeah. So we got the star here, which is hope, and we get the three of uh, rods uh, as the other signifier card. Doing they're doing a lot of work, so as so as they don't get banned, I think that would open up larger questions. If you ban TikTok, um, then why don't you ban Elon Musk, who spouts Russian talking points and Twitter? Why don't you ban Meta, Meta and Facebook who have uh, sold off our data without us knowing? There's something around if they t remove ties to Beijing, to China, they will possibly be allowed to stay open in the US. Queen of, uh, Queen of Rods, they have a plan to do this, to divest themselves from Beijing. Um, Ace of Pentacles in the past. Um, that's in the past. Wheel of Fortune's in the sky. A lot of, I mean, they're probably the biggest platform for young people. And we get the world endings and new beginnings. They're going to have to make changes. Um, we get the strength card here and moderation, temperance. They're going to have to make big changes to their business model along with I think it's like cutting their ties with China. Like it's, it's got to be um, ownership has to be elsewhere. Now we get loans and debts, giving and receiving help in the hopes and fears. A lot of uh, a lot of influencers make their money on TikTok. A lot of young people make their money on on TikTok. Um, the emperor control. So this is like uh, a decision coming down that they can't control. And it's going to be disappoint, disappointment. Basically, what's going to come out from my reading of these cards, and you could hear it soon, they're going to, they've been defending themselves, the Seven of uh, Wands, Queen of Pentacles, where pe people are worried about national security, and we've got the government here. We have justice and uh, loss and betrayal. I'm pretty sure if China didn't, uh, didn't, fly that balloon spy balloon we wouldn't maybe we wouldn't be having this conversation but they did they're going to make a decision they're going to take control i'm talking about the government in the u.s could even be a something coming down from biden's office as well he might sign a bill um he's in step with the uh congress on this um they're going to be given an ultimatum divest uh from divest from chinese ownership there's some way they make that company rethink their their how they've got their business financially structured with ties to Bay, to Ch ties to China. I think that's going to be an ultimatum. Do something about this or you don't operate here in the US. 
how will that affect other social media and um, Elon Musk is funded uh, in part by the Chinese. Mm, well, there'll be flow on uh, effects there and we will catch up with that at a, at a later reading. If we're moving into Easter here in the in Australia. Uh, I do have a travel video that I've nearly finished editing. So I'll post that over the Easter long weekend. But uh, until that time, um, it's uh, Marianne out. I'm going to enjoy my Easter. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Bye for now.